Good morning, friends. Uh, a dreary morning this morning. We had a lot of rain last night and throughout the night. I don't know how much we got. I didn't check the rain gauge, but a significant amount. And that's going to get the water flowing. And with that water flowing, those ditches starting to fill up, that's going to get the otter moving. So uh, I'm hoping maybe we got an otter catch this morning. We're going to have a little bit of difficulty with the water rising, maybe pushing some traps out. Or you can tell the water has risen quite a bit here. All right, guys, so there's our first one of this morning. It looks like a pretty decent sized one. This is that culvert that I set with the Black Widow stand on the dam break. Uh, water's pretty good over that dam right here, but we had this beaver coming up. Uh, so, good deal. Got him in that crossover. Just had that 330 set on the top of that crossover. Mm. I'm gonna try to with that water like it is guys I'm gonna try to leave that trap where it's at or stand where it's at that way I can get that trap right back get that camera a little bit better for you guys maybe so I'm gonna leave that stand right where it's at so I can get that trap right back where it was I know it's right in that run this Pull that stand or trap up off of that stand there. Uh, decent, decent two year old. Just get that debris off here, guys. I'm just gonna get this thing reset back. Get that beaver in the truck and the trap back working and uh, keep on going. Get that anchor cable all untangled here. Uh, I got another one trigger conna bear here, but that one trigger is still solid, and for catching beavers, that's still gonna work. just a matter of sliding it right back down on that stand guys make sure that it's seated all the way down it is here's our anchor we're just going to close the top of that up and I use these uh, quick links 
or snap rings i'm sorry this called snap ring i just put through those two washers there on top and uh and that thing's anchored anchored to that stand all right all right guys so this is that dam break or yeah dam break that i made inside this culvert and i don't want to try to get down in there i'm just gonna see if i can take a look right here so just looking right there you can see my cable anchored to the side of that culvert and uh looks like it's still slack so uh i'm just gonna look down in there make sure that beaver getting down in that culvert somewhere and uh go on keep on moving we'll make sure we'll uh stop and really look at this thing tomorrow make sure that it's still in working condition all right guys made over this next location just right off the bat i can tell <coughs> something happened right here with this long spring set we had tell the anchor cables twisted back around that tree you can see a lot of fresh chewings looks like they may have may have chewed on that tree a little bit let's get over here and see see if we can determine what happened we've got a 330 set right down here we'll check it in a minute this is that crossover now it's just rotten rotten bark that's fell off so we may have a raccoon not seeing anything moving just yet well, let's ease down here our anchor cable goes back up here in the bushes goes up here and wraps around this tree looks like they might have they might have got wrapped yep got wrapped around that little tree right there and was able to pull out let's let's pull it out here and see if we can determine what kind of animal that it was toes or toenails or foots guys so we just barely had a catch on something right there and uh, it was able to twist around that little twig tree sticking up and uh, was able to get the leverage to to pull out so all we're gonna do is come back here I'm gonna set this thing right back in there all right let's take that log and we'll pull it around here just like that and that log itself is gonna bring them right to right to our trap hopefully when they step off in the water we'll go ahead and step down here and check this 330 make sure we don't have whatever it was went that way we might have him in that 330 there <sighs> that little log yep right here guys got a beaver so uh maybe that's the one that, that got over our long spring we got him right here all right good deal another good sized beaver guys that very first spot i had to walk down that levee i carried my setters with me to that first dam and uh we get this set definitely not as easy as it used to be but that first dam i walked down there checked it didn't have a catch so i just threw my setters down right there where where i'm going to walk back out at of course when i walk back out i got something else on my mind i walk right by onto the truck and leave so uh of course today's the day we'll have a bunch of catches in 330s because i got to set them by hand need to get an extra set of setters put in the truck All right. 
we didn't have this one on a stand i don't believe let me kick around right here a minute no i'm right in that run there's no stand so i just had sticks holding it down in there so let's do that again guys We're gonna get this thing set and we're gonna place it right in the middle of that run the best we can all right trigger set safeties are on i like to put my trigger down that's when the water gets low more of that trigger and the trigger mechanism is exposed or not exposed hidden it gives them more of an opening up top here to look and go through so before i do that i find me a stick to put in that corner mm -hmm. all right so i'm right right in that run guys i can tell where it's at i'm just gonna set that trap right in the bottom of it my safeties are off now so i need to be really careful what i'm doing take one of these sticks put to the corner of that trap catch that spring all right do the same thing over here make you find me a better stick catching the top corner of that trap we're just running that stick through that spring All right, guys, I actually got it, got it pretty decent there. When the water gets up like this, this is where those H stands are really nice. This is a stick we had laying across here just for a dive stick. We're gonna leave that there, guys. Whew, I'm gonna step up here. I don't see any solid sticks. I'm gonna step up here and grab one of my anchors come back down here and use one of my rebar anchors to catch that one side just to make sure that thing's not going to move i might have to get skinning when i get home today those three from yesterday i didn't didn't get a chance to all right there's a stand that's even better guys all right Take us one of these H stands down there with us, and we're gonna put that trap on it. All right, stepping off in that channel. Real easy, got it. I'm not 100% sure where that's at. Right there's my one of my anchor sticks. Remember, the safeties are off on that thing. You don't want to hit the trigger. Yeah, let's slide that thing down on that stand. There we go. That's going to make it a lot better. Now, now we can just come in here, determine right where the middle of that channel is. That's going to help us hold that, uh, hold that log on there as well. Right there, that's where I'm going to place that. It's going to push it all the way to the bottom. All right. I believe I've got a spring clip here in my pocket i've got it anchored that tree but i'm gonna go ahead and you put another spring clip up here in the washers just to hold that close that'll keep that trap from coming off of that stand if we get a catch and they struggle some now i can take that dive stick and run it between between that h stand that's going to help hold that over that trap all right guys i drove by i didn't see anything back here in these i'll double check them as i pass out and then uh if there's catch i'll show you if not i'll see you over at that next property in a minute all right guys we're down here i actually don't think i've showed this set this is uh when i was driving the other side ditch when i first found this colony this is the ditch that had the two small dams in it and then we determined that the colony was back toward the lake which is this way but uh this is that second dam i had that crossover and i got it set for otter but right up here i just wanted to mention it you know how well you guys are going to tell there's a power unit and some grown up grass there just past that is where i jumped that coyote at so if I wanted to, I could just run a little bit farther from where I got these water sets, just right down here to that power unit area. Uh, 
and it looks like I think I believe there's another another small ditch that cuts across there. I could get a, some coyote sets put out here in this area, and I, and there's a good chance I'll pick up that coyote that I saw. But anyway, I'm gonna step down here and check this. Uh, I believe this was a 330. This uh, big steep bank was difficult to walk down yesterday when it was dry. So you guys may see me take a fall right here in a minute. Or it wasn't too difficult to get down, it was difficult to get back up, I should say. Let me put this camera on my head so I got both hands to catch me while I fall. And another trick, guys, when you're going up and down these hills, keep your feet sideways. And if you can tell my feet, instead of trying to dig your heel in and walk down, you got more profile, more... Uh, more of your foot catching the ground if you're walking sideways. What I like to do on these steep hills is come in here and kind of make me a flat spot, flat spot. And I'll just work that hill all the way down, making me little, little steps. And then those little steps that I made will make it easier when I try to get up here in a little bit. Let's get down here. I'm pretty sure this was a 330. Uh, Looks like it's still set, all that debris built up on it there. So I'm gonna get down here and I just wanna get down here and clean that out and have it ready and working for when the otter or beaver uh, are back in the area coming down through here. So it's on an H stand and my H stand has caught all that debris. Just wanna be real careful guys, not get my hand in front of that trap and Try to pull some of that debris out of there. Make sure that thing's still set and not trip. See, it's holding every bit of that grass and stuff in there and hasn't been tripped yet, guys. Normally it don't work, but I'm gonna try to, I don't have my setters. So I'm gonna try to get all that debris out of there without setting that trap off. Just to make it easier, easier on my hands as I get older. So there we go, I got most of it right there. We got lucky, don't do this guys, cause that jaw will catch you. Be sure to do it from the outside in between those jaws. So, all right. Good deal. That trap's ready to go, guys. I, I know that crossover is right here. And we're just going to come right back in there. Get that stand secured. What I like to do, guys, you got the top of your trap right here and you got this rod. I like to get my toe right on that rod and push down into the mud. Make sure you don't get your toe on that trap or it will get you. Just push it all the way down. All right, there we go, right back in there. I believe I had this angled across here, just kinda to disguise that a little bit. We'll push this spring over, take some old leaves and put it up, and now that trap's working for the next critter comes down through here. And we'll have a catch in this trap. One of these mornings we get here, we'll have a catch right here. Probably the otter are gonna be moving tonight because all these ditches are filled up with water. It's been pretty much dry. Now them otters, they're, they can swim better, they can swim faster, and they're more comfortable in the water than they are on land. And them critters, they, they're, they're slick and sly anywhere fast. But uh, all their highways just opened up. They've been blocked down all summer because we've been dry. All their highways just opened up, so those things are gonna be traveling tonight. And I bet you guys anything, we'll have some otter catches tomorrow if we don't already have some of these traps we hadn't checked this morning. But I'm gonna get on up here. Uh, this is Y Dam and then that Y goes back up and that's where that big colony's at that we got set. So I'm gonna go get those those checked this morning and uh, we'll see you guys up there in a second. Been trying to do it without, without having to put our boots on the boot dryer tonight. All right, so we're here at this first dam we got set, guys. Just right up here around this corner, maybe, maybe 60, 70 yards is where we just stepped off down that steep bank. Uh, reset that 330, got it working. Let's step over here and look at, look at this dam. 
and we got us a beaver down there guys good deal good deal another one i knew i knew today would be the day i'd have to set them three dirties by hand uh so uh get down there looks like it's gonna be a decent size one too uh, I can see my cable right here. It looks like the water might have washed that trap over that crossover there. Oh. Let's get down here. Not just the cable. We're gonna make sure that it's still it's still set and working here, guys. Real easy because I don't know if that trap's open or closed. It is stripped up here, so we're just gonna get some of this debris out of the way. This right here was that crossover, guys. You can tell that debris and stuff is washed up here from all that rain. We're just gonna open it back up. Get this trap set back in there. Get working. All right, just like that. This is a bridger here, guys. An older, older style bridger, square jaw. Oh, we come right in here find that trap bed that we had we got to remember this water is going to go down pretty quick now that the rain stopped so i want to set this thing back in the original bed which right now seems almost a little bit deep I almost want to move it up here where it's shallow but i got to remember unless we get more rain that water is going to be back down tomorrow so step down here and take a look at this guy see what we got Gonna be a good size one there, dude. It's gonna be one of the adults. Uh, definitely one of the adults. Got a perfect head catch in that 330. So that thing didn't fight that trap at all. Whew, I'm gonna take me a break a minute before I set that thing. I'll show you. I've done it. talked about this before, guys. But the way I set these 330s is just get a good solid base on the ground i like to have that trigger right there to where once i get it set i can use my fingers to flip it up over this top jaw <coughs> start applying downward pressure on this back side and you can catch once once you get past this hump in the jaw you can catch that uh, bottom part of that round spring on the palm of your hand <coughs> push it down the hardest parts right here is getting it past that knuckle. All right, once you get that knuckle, you can you can grip it with your fingers and your palm. Squeeze with this hand. You can use this other hand to squeeze as well and get it down. The uh, hand's gonna be right in the way. Get it down enough to pop that safety on there and hold it shut. It's a good size good size beaver there guys all right same thing here start pushing down get our palm on that spring work it past that work it past that knuckle right there it's the hardest part getting it past that center and just may have to readjust a few times to get a solid to where it don't move around on you I'm struggling with this one. Let's flip them over. Do it like this. definitely got to take a break guys all I'm gonna do is get this towed up this hill in the truck and get this trap reset back here and get up there and get that next one checked sitting here thinking guys I really don't want to carry this towed up this hill 
that's what I've always done in the past. What I need to do, <coughs> start doing is rig me up a rope. 15, 20 foot piece of rope. I can throw it down the hill, tie it onto the beaver, climb up the hill and then pull the beaver up the hill. That'd be the easiest way to do it. And I guess, I guess I'm getting to where the point to where I might have to start doing something like that because it's getting hard to tote these things up these hills. I threw him up here three different times, tried to get him away on that little shelf right here. All three times he rolled back down, so I finally just tossed him over here in this little crevice. So I'm gonna figure out how to get this dude up this hill. One step, one throw at a time, I reckon. Let me get us a running start now. Maybe I can drag him, drag him up here. All right, we got it made now. We're starting to get us a get us a collection pretty quick. It's gonna be the biggest one so far this season. Ooh, it's a hoss. All right, let's move on up here to this next one, guys. We gonna have us another one down there, fellas. I knew those 330s were gonna work today. All right. It's gonna be a lot smaller one. Well, that's good carrying it up this hill. Yeah. All right, you can see him down there on that bottom. You see his back feet and his tail sticking up. Small one. Whew. I believe this is that, uh, this is at 550. I believe what happened yesterday. See how that cables anchor this tree over here? Need not a tree or nowhere over here to anchor. What I need to do is bring a stake down here with me. Move that anchor to that other side over there where the traps happen. And they have it buried underneath the dam. We're not gonna do it this morning. We'll try to remember to grab that tomorrow morning. Right here's a crossover, guys. Let's find this. Let's find this top trap here. It's tripped. Uh, I'm sure it's just from the debris and stuff washing up. Can get it reset. These dudes seem big and still get used to sitting them number fives and 85s. And then these things right here look small. All right. Got that thing set. We're gonna bed it right back in here, guys. I'm gonna try to see if I can cover that anchor cable up a little bit. Keep it down, maybe. Step off in here. Gonna take this stick. I think what happened yesterday, that video, hopefully that little description I put in there described. I think something come along this bank, caught that cable with their foot, kept going, and it dragged, dragged that trap up here to this corner. But anyway, let's see what see what we got here. Looks like a smaller one or two year old. Whew. Yeah, it's gonna be a two year old there. I just tripped that damn trap. Don't want them up there. One I just set, heard it snap. That tail hit it. All right, guys. I'm just gonna get him out of there the same way I just showed you on that other one. Get that 330 set here on the bottom. Reset that one there again, and I'll catch up with you 
jump here to the next set. All right, guys, made it here to this last set. This is where I seen those otter crossings yesterday. I've got four traps here, <clears throat> a couple of number 11s and a couple of Duke uh, one and a half. And I rigged them up. I actually just sat here and made this earth anchor. Uh, that's how we're gonna anchor this one. I figured while I was here, I'd show you a couple of different methods of anchoring. So basically the way I've got this number 11 set up, I just come down here where the, the original uh, stake ring is. I put me in a swivel, box swivel. Then I've got a split ring and that split ring is gonna allow me if I can't pull this up, this can be disposable and I can just take it right off that split ring. Take my split ring, my trap, make me another one and use it somewhere else. Most of the time you can pull these up, but uh, that split ring just makes it handy just to have a basically a quick disconnect between your anchor and your trap. And then we're going to go down to the earth anchor with this one. So let's lay it right there. We're going to set some otter sets on those trails we found yesterday. Uh, very same setup here, guys, on this number 11. <coughs> all right this one uh <clears throat> uh duke and a half we're gonna use it to catch an otter it's just it's chained down here i originally had a hags bracket on it i think i was using this on a, for some muskrat sets at one time uh another i just put a uh split ring there just make again another quick disconnect and i've got to add a washer to this one real quick so i'm gonna lay it up here and get a washer put on it and in this method here is anchoring guys this is I used to use this a whole lot and again I've got this I use this for muskrats at one time I've got it set up on a slide wire uh, so basically I can anchor this up there and it's just basically a drowning cable for a muskrat or a mink uh, set but pull it all the way down here to the end where it's not going to back off we've got that swivel we've got two swivels right here in that short piece of chain I'm going to come all the way down here my anchor on this one this is a cross stake anchor and I'll, they make these in single and double, guys. Uh, I would recommend if you're going to get some, go ahead and get the uh, double ones. That way you can use them not only for muskrat, mink, otter. The otter, it's going to be better to have the double stake in the ground holding it so they can't pull up. Otters are some fresh, uh, they're, they're good fighters. They roll. They're going to, if something's going to pull your anchor, it's going to be an otter or a beaver. You're sitting in water for muskrats and mink. Uh, there's a chance you're going to catch an otter. So go ahead and use this double stake system, and I'll show you when we get down here. I'll show you how that how that works. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this anchor on this trap, and I'll catch up with you guys here. I don't know if I got any catches or not. I hadn't stepped down here and looked. So we're going to carry everything with us that we need to make these otter sets. And while we're down there, we're going to get them set. I'm going to go ahead and get an anchor on this one. And I'll catch you guys here in a minute down there. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I'm down here on this dam. I don't really see anything right off the bat catching my. It looks like this 330 might be, might not be where we left it, but the water being higher, I'm not sure. I'm gonna get these otter sets up here on the bank, then we'll step down there and check those two 330s. But right here, guys, here's this double, double stank anchor. All I'm gonna do is come right up here on the bank. <clears throat> I'm gonna stick that rod in there going down at that angle. We're gonna come in here guys we're gonna take this rod and we're gonna put it in here at this angle shove it down there both of them as far down as we can all right now we're just gonna finish taking those down with a hammer guys there's two different styles rebar anchors as well all this one is is a piece of rebar cut to whatever length oh, let me get the camera up here had the camera at the wrong angle the whole time guys so this is our cross stake anchor. Uh, all we do guys is drive one piece of rebar down this direction, one piece of rebar this way, they cross down inside the ground. Nothing is gonna be able to pull those up because neither one of them can pull up at the angle they need to to come out of the ground. that will take a dozer or something to pull that up. But uh, hopefully you can see a little better now. But there's two different style anchor stakes guys it's just rebar cut to whatever length you want 24 36 48 inches uh one of them's got a washer welded on top as a handle one of them's got a short piece of rebar cut into a t-handle if i was both of them work just fine if i was going to recommend one or the other i'd recommend the t-handle because whenever you go to pull these you can actually grab that t-handle easier and your hand twist as you're pulling it up you can do the same thing with this washer, but it's a lot 
harder on your hands because you only got them two fingers on it as you're pulling up that pressure just makes it more difficult it's almost best with these to get a pair of channel locks lock on it so you can twist as you're pulling those up but we're just going to finish hammering them all the way into the ground all right so if that anchor and trap is secure guys all we're going to do is get it set right here we're going to set it right here in this little pocket this is that tunnel crossover and we're just going to have that trap sitting right there at the top of it duke one and a half hadn't been used in a while so that pan's pan's a little rough all right got that pan up now all right guys that trap is set and we're just gonna take that cable get it out of the way the best we can we're just gonna sit that right there and uh, hopefully and pull up some of this some of this grass and debris to kind of block them off so they don't come this way and uh, they'll, they'll go right through there to hit that tunnel and uh, hopefully they'll step in that trap and we'll have them caught so let's step over here to this other side we're gonna do the same thing over here on this crossing then i'll climb down and i'll put two more in the bottom and uh yep we'll have this guarded on these side crossovers for otters when they come through all right so right here guys i really can't tell now we notice this trail from the bottom end until it goes through the grass right in here so i'm gonna anchor over here i'm gonna bed my trap somewhere where i can tell that defined trail i can't tell exactly pinpoint where they're coming across the dam but i can pinpoint where their foot's going to be as they get into this grass going through it So we'll do a long spring here <coughs> just using our pogo driver guys and our pogo anchor that washer's just going to slide in there to where that nail rests in that groove we're going to push it down best we can then we're going to knock it down in there a little bit farther All right, guys, so we got it in there. Now we want to give it one good tug because right now that washer is up and down. We give it a good tug, that washer is going to flatten out. <clears throat> and that's what's going to hold. All right, we'll just come right in here. You can see that trail real good, guys. We're going to make a... It's going to make a step right here to lay that flat spot to lay that trap on. Right there, just like we set that bigger long spring this morning, we're going to turn those springs toward us. Going to bring all that chain and trap right down there. Just like that, guys, I'm going to pull some of this debris and stuff kind of back in there just a little bit to help, help bed that thing in there. There we go, that trap's set. I'm not going to worry too much about covering it up if you want to you can take just the slightest little bit of grass kind of blend it in a little bit and that trap is set there otter comes through all right let's step down here put one more in the ground here at the bottom all right guys so over here on this side we've got that 330 inch trip so we might have a catch there got that otter set up there we got this other 330 right here garden so we got a foothold there and at the bottom of this channel, we got this 330 right here. So I'm going to put this other third set over here on the bottom of this channel. <clears throat> so right there is that trail we just set the top end of it. I'm just coming here. I'm going to bed this trap right there, guys. So it's going to do the same thing. Earth anchor right here to the side. Where 
we're able to push that one down in there pretty much all the way all right good tug good good tug pull that's gonna pull out guys so i don't want to don't want to do that there we're just gonna move it a little bit higher in the bank we're gonna find us a spot that we can get this anchor and hold soft mud like this your options are uh, just longer rebar stakes or uh, bigger diameter washers to hold that mud a little better we're just going to come on up here a little bit and try it again it's going to be a little better there drive that down Pull that up, we're gonna give it a tug and then a pull and see if I can pull it up out of there. Tug, that's gonna hold. Get this duke set. It had a knot latch on it, playing with it and I caught my finger there guys. So it's gonna happen if you're out here trapping you're gonna get yourself caught. How do you get out of it? No beforehand. You stick it down here, put your foot on that lever, push down, put your other foot over here. Huh, look at that guys, my finger isn't broke. I'll be dang. Just pressure guys, I mean that quick, when it first slaps you, yeah. I mean it doesn't hurt, but it's a surprise. And for some people they get surprised and hurt mixed up. Get that thing set back. Let's set, guys. This time we're going to get our fingers out of the way. We're going to pull that pan down right there. We come right down here. All right, us going up that bank. We're not going to be able to set it where I originally wanted to because there's not enough anchor cable. That's fine. We'll just pull it right back down this way. Right there, guys. Got that bedded in there. Now you can cover that chain up if you want to. I'm not going to. Uh, that trail's coming down here. They're coming down this way. They're going to be coming right down that trail. They're going to step right before they get to this to step over it. If they're coming up this way, they're going to want to step here and then step over that into this spot that's right on top of our pan. Well, I have a catch there. Whatever comes through that trail next. All right, let's check and step down in here. This is pretty deep to begin with, so I'm going to make sure I don't go over my hip boots. Step down here and check this 330. I'm just gonna run my hand down that frame and see if it's still set or not. It is still set, guys, right there. I can feel it. So, nothing to do there. Let's step up here and see if we can figure out why this one's tripped. Hopefully there's a catch in it. All right, so water debris or something come down through there and hit that trigger trip this trap uh should have known no setters got to set it back by hand so i'm gonna do guys so that's gonna be it this morning uh appreciate you watching uh yeah we'll catch you next video